And welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64! Last time we got up to 24 stars, that's a lot! And this time we're heading in to fight Bowser. You stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would, I warn you. Friend, watch your step. Uh, just refreshing my memory, okay. <laughs> I don't actually go for the red coins, like, ever. So I actually had to stop and think, where are the red coins? Uh, okay, this one sucks. Uh, yeah, because you can actually get burned there pretty easily, so don't. <laughs> I mean, that's my advice, you don't. I'm not gonna go for that. Um, you can get it in the same cycle, I always die when I try that, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna go for that. <laughs> and I thought I got hit there. Okay. Not complaining, mind you, that I didn't get hit, but just, it looked like I would have. Okie dokie, we are making bad time because I, frankly, I'm taking this very slow. I never get the red coins. Even when I try to do runs of this game, I never go for the red coins. Or never did, because I, the last one I did was like a year ago. I've been meaning to get back into it because I do enjoy speedrunning, I just don't have time. I was thinking maybe over the summer I'll try to get back into speedrunning. Um, feeling inspired. Though, to be fair, 16 star runs are kind of old news because everyone's just running, uh, like, zero star at this point, or one star. Uh, zero star is hard because you have to clip through multiple, uh, objects. Uh, which is always a fun time. <laughs> to be honest, that's always fun in speedruns. I'm not saying that facetiously, by the way, I actually mean it. It is actually fun. Uh,. Hard, but really fun to do runs where you just have to clip through everything. Not easy, but very rewarding if you can actually figure it out. Another thing I've been thinking about trying is trying to learn the Super Mario World... Uh... Thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to quantify this as, because it's so abstract. I missed a coin, didn't I? Shoot. Did I miss a coin? I don't actually know. Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> Hope for the best, prepare for the- w Oh shoot, I remember where it is. We're good. We're actually totally fine. Um, this one really stresses me out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> taking it really slowly, because I don't want to mess this up and I can't see what I'm actually doing. Now another game I want to play that's kind of in the same boat as this game is actually Ocarina of Time. Uh, where I was like, I love the game and all, but for some reason it just doesn't click with me as much as, uh, one of the later ones. Ironically, in both cases, GameCube. Um, in both cases, actually Tropical. So that's, shoot, that's a bit ironic. I don't usually do this, by the way. I don't approach it from this side, and now you're starting to see why. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna back up a little bit. Uh, this part stresses me out. Uh, just a little bit. All Bowser levels stress me out, but for some reason, this one stresses me out the most. Probably because it's the one I've played the most. Because, again, I don't actually play Bowser levels, like, ever. Um, at least in terms of red coins, I never go for the red coins. I'm gonna play super safe. Uh, be a total noob. Because, again, I just don't go for red coins. Oh, snap. Okie dokie. Uh, oh. Okay, made that one. I'm gonna take it slow over here. I was really worried about just flying off the edge there. Okay, okay, we're good. We're totally fine. Yeah, I don't know why this level stresses me out so much, because again, it's like, even most later level levels don't stress me out this badly. Just this particular red red coins just is super stressful. Probably because I've played it the most, aka because I've died so many times. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Go ahead and just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you which won't throw me out of here. Never, ha. Huh? Okay. Um, so we got Bowser by the tail. The camera is so stupid in this game. Uh, not gonna lie. I mean, I like the game, but the camera sucks because you can only move at like... It feels like like 30 degree angles, so you can't like line it up properly. 
or you can just get it anyway. <laughs> that works too. Girl, I was a bit careless. It's not as I had planned, but I still held the power of the stars. I saw Peach. You'll never, you'll get no more stars from me. Not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. Oddly enough, this key doesn't have a hitbox until it actually finishes bouncing. Weird fact about this game. Okay, so honestly, getting that done makes me feel a lot better uh, about the game as a whole. <laughs> Uh, because, yeah, that's like the most stressful start in the game. Right there. Okay, so, uh... Sorry, Jolly Roger Bay, but we got a couple errands to do. Uh, can we... do this? Oh yeah, we do. We have the key. That's the key we just got. I, I'm getting really confused. So we got two things to do. Actually, we can go to this door, practically. Uh, you need 30 to get into that one. Um... There are two things I want to try to get done in this video. I don't... Make that three things. <laughs> now, we're gonna ignore Mips. His name is Mips because of being named after a processor, I think. Um, okay, make that four things, actually, because... If you talk to this guy, or punch him in the face, hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you do lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Um... There's actually a, uh, oh, here, take this, I've been keeping it for you. There's actually one streamer I know who, like, intentionally lost his hat, lost Mario's hat to the monkey. Just as sort of a, a, a joke, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna jump in here. This is course eight. Or is it, okay, never mind, it's course six. Yeah, course, course six is shifting sandlands. This is Hazumi's cave. Um... Okay, stupid thing though. We're not actually gonna do anything in here. Um, not stupid, but just oh, oh shoot, this is actually not the easiest jump in the world to make. Uh, at least I botch it a lot. This is actually, in my opinion, the second most stressful uh, 100 coin because for some reason I tend to die here a lot. Um, so if we go down here, this is actually the location of the first star of the level. Um, swimming beast in the cavern. Uh, you actually will be able to see the swimming beast. Also, fun fact, this is actually the first time we've seen swimming. If you're low in health and are swimming, you actually regain health. As long as you're on the surface of the water, it's really weird. I don't understand it. Um, Speaking of which, it's called the Swing Beast. Of the oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where the heck is it? This is Dory. Not as in Finding. Uh. <laughs> okay. Hitbox, please. Okay, this is going swimmingly. I made that pun in my last Let's Play. Won the titles, I think. Um. God, this game sometimes. <laughs> okay, so. Grand Pound Zori's back. And you can get into its head. It'll raise you up, and then it'll go whatever direction you're facing. So we're gonna ignore this first star. <laughs> uh, sorry, Dory, for steering you straight into a wall. There's a mini game called Tug Dory in Mario Party 5. That's why I remember its name is Dory, not because it's actually said in this game. So yeah, we're actually heading to these double doors over here. Okay. So, what is over here, you may be asking yourself. A nice water texture! Which actually I haven't gone into much. Welcome to the Metal Cap Switch course. Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. When you turn your body into metal with the Metal Cap, you can walk underwater. So we're Metal Mario. This is my Metal Mario's formal debut. Um... Now, not gonna lie, I don't remember where any of the coins are, <laughs> other than the ones in plain sight. I think there might be one behind me, but I'm not sure. Okay, or they could all be over here. That that's cool. We don't. Yeah, let's save. Be on the safe side. Save side. Um. So that's four. Are they all in the water? I could have sworn there's one back there. <laughs> uh, apparently not. So let's just. Grab them quickly. By the way, you have to be really fast because 
if you don't uh, get out of the water when the Kappa's out, you will get swept away by the water. And you'll get taken out in front of the castle, actually. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you don't mess that up, because... That kinda sucks, messing that up. So, that's another secret star in, uh... To add to the collection. Camera, please. Um... So there's actually, uh, other than MIPS... Uh, there's actually another thing we can actually do. Uh, let's try to get MIPS. I wanna show off my- I wanna show off. <laughs> wow, good job showing off. Okay. He can live to fight another day. Um... Cuz... I'm- wait, where the heck is this? Is it here? It is here. Okay. Uh... do we go straight? Yeah. I don't remember a lot about this game, if you couldn't tell. I have a general knowledge, I just don't remember specifics. I've seen like two stream plays, or wait, one stream play, one let's play of this game very recently, yet I still struggle to remember some of the finer details of this game. Outside, we have drained the water. You may be asking yourself, why would you do this? Over here, there's actually something we can't normally access. This is a level. Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch course. All of the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step in the Cap Switch. Um, this part, this level, I think, is a lot harder. Also, by the way, you take damage from falling, but these coins restore the exact amount of health that you lose. So don't worry about dying on this part, at least. Also, by the way, you can't die in either course except from enemies. Um, keep that in mind. You can, however, royally screw up. That's a very subtle distinction. Uh, it's not as bad in this case, because I think you get dropped outside the castle if you mess up, like if you fall. Which is actually relatively close to, you know, the entrance, so you're not missing out too much. Um, but yeah, this is another level that just stresses me out to no end. Uh, you'll see why in a second. Except maybe not. Actually, the, the thing is, those platforms rotate like that. And I get thrown off those platforms so much, it's not even funny. Okay, maybe a little funny. Uh... Okay! Uh... Not, not the strategy I was going for, but it apparently worked. Shoot. Oh, uh, yeah. This is why I don't like this level. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just get taken outside here. It's not the end of the world, it's just... Yeah, compared to the other one, where you get swept really far away, that's- this is actually a lot easier. Um, you get the text every time. I'm sure this is a fun level if you actually know it, but I don't know this level at all. Um... Okay, not at all. I do know the level a little bit. It's just- I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, no matter how many times I play this level, I always screw up at least once. I don't think I've ever had a perfect run. Or I've not messed up on this level. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a triple jump, but that worked. Um... Again, yeah, same music. <laughs> There's like five songs in this entire soundtrack. Um... Something actually... Okay, this is gonna sound stupid, potentially, but the reason I'm actually... I really want to Let's Play is was because I was listening to a remix of the credits theme of the game, and it's like, man, I, I want to play Super Mario 64 again. Just because I like the credits music. As arbitrary as that sounds. Um... But yeah, that's what inspired me. Same with my second choice, actually. My second choice for Let's Play, which I'll probably do after this, is actually Portal. Uh, and it's just because I was listening to, like, Still Alive the other day, and it's like, I want to play Portal again. <laughs> Yeah, that's really weird, but that's uh, that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm actually playing this game. That hole there is in case you actually miss something, so you can actually sort of, um, like if you get stuck there, and you don't want to backtrack all the way out, so you can actually still just leave the level and come back at the beginning. Like if you miss one of the first coins, but you might as well just jump off the entire structure, because that's actually faster. In Super Mario 64 DS, there's actually more rabbits. Um, 
And they all have keys to certain minigames. Why is there coins under the bridge? I never noticed that, actually. <laughs> um, this game has a lot of coins in really weird places. Though we're not gonna really get into that for a little bit. Um, it's gonna be around world... Oh, gosh. World... 13? I wanna say 13 is the one that has a really weird coin, but I'm not sure. So we got a secret star in the same room as the Jolly Roger Bay painting. By the way, that's our next stop. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but uh, this is actually a really easy secret star, so I figured might as well just take care of this now. Now that we've gotten both caps activated as well, or all three technically, um, we actually can take on Charlie Roger Bay. So from here on out, we're basically gonna do the worlds in the intended order, not necessarily the levels in the intended order. Because personally, I prefer a non-linear uh, approach. Again, because I like to get the 100 coins out of the way early. This is how I play this game. Because that's the one that always gives me the most grief, so I like to get that one finished out of the way, so it won't be a problem. Um, now, I'm actually not sure if any of these secret stars have enough coins to get 100. That's actually a good point. Never really thought about it, actually. So, um, Jolly Roger Bay is actually one of the few levels that has a different painting in the Japanese version compared to the American version, if I'm not mistaken. Also, when I said something about the water texture in the previous video, I actually never expanded upon that. Um, the like whirlpool texture of both Hazy Maze Cave and the uh, Secret Star with the Metal Cap, uh, that same texture is used a lot more in Ocarina of Time, actually. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's used... Oh, hi. Yeah, unhand me. Brute, I'm, so, I'm late, so late, I must make haste. The shiny thing? Mine, it's mine. Finders, keepers, losers, late, late, late. Ouch, take it then. Give for Bowser it was. Now let me be, I have a date, I cannot be late for tea. So that's another star, we actually have 30. Wow, another power star, Mario gains courage from the power of the castle. Um... Can we pick him up still? So? You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star, but you've, before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the condor to get it back. I'm way ahead. <laughs> um, because I'm a tryhard, I want to show this off. Um, besides, we don't really have time for anything else substantial. So I want to show off this. This is actually the bread and butter of the run. Uh, I'll probably screw this up because it's been a while. Run into the crease on the door and you'll see the shadow disappearing. And if you duck with perfect timing, Mips will go through the door. I can't remember if it's actually the left side of the door or the right side. But anyway, you can actually get Mips over to the other side of the door. And that's actually important for a uh, clip, actually. Because... Um, Shoot, this camera's not cooperating, because, uh, you can actually use this to get through that 3D star door early. Um, which is, again, the, basically the cream of the crop for speedrunning bugs in this game. Um, so again, you're not supposed to get into this other door until, uh, oh yeah, Mips shows up when you have 15 stars, that's why it's a 16 star run. Uh, but, like, you can actually clip through this door like that. So this is actually the biggest speedrunning technique of the 16 star run. Um, now I'm kind of stuck here. Actually, I can open the door, so I'm fine. But anyway, just wanted to show that off. Next time, uh, Jolly Roger Bay. So thank you for watching. I hope you join me next time for more Super Mario 64.